Hey everyone, so I spent from 5 o'clock to 10 o'clock applying for jobs and I ate a late lunch so I'm going to be having something to eat now. I didn't do my John Maxwell today but I just wanted to uh, talk a little bit more about the law of the mirror or the law of the picture. So when we are immigrants and we are applying for jobs we have to also look at the culture of the companies that we are applying to. And I'll give you two examples. Now in Canada, by law, companies have to disclose the salaries of the jobs. They have to put a range. And it's going to be passing royal assent. So whenever you apply for jobs now, you'll be able to see the range of the salary. And there are two types of companies. There's companies like the one I worked at, Teleperformance, where the model is that we want people to come, stay for maybe five or six years and move on. We don't want to retain the knowledge. We don't care whether how much we have to train, recruit. We're not interested in people staying for the long term. So those types of companies, they'll pay very low wages. They'll pay like the bare minimum, whatever is the government regulation, that's what they'll pay. They might pay a dollar extra or 50 cents extra to thank you for your service for staying for another year. But there's no performance, um, like there's no incentives, there's no bonuses, there's no add-on benefits, there's nothing like that. So you know that you need to move on and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to move into a different company or a better paid position where I can earn what I want to be earning and where I'll get the benefits, I'll get all the, the bells and whistles that you don't get in that type of job. And then you get the other type of company which is like the banks. So you'll get the Credit Suisses, the TDs, the, the big banks and you will notice their salaries are very, very high. And why are their salaries that high? Because the culture is not good. So it doesn't matter whether the, like they have all these best places to work and all that. If you look at the salaries that they're paying and if they're paying above what would be the average for that market, and you can look it up, you can look it up on a pay scale or Wacopolis, you can see how much other companies are paying you'll find that companies like TD, they'll pay above what other companies are paying because the culture is not good, because they're dealing with things like this money laundering, lack of ethics, lack of doing the right thing, lack of trust from the public. So that's when they'll be paying a lot more because they want people to come and stay with them. Whether they'll therefore fix their problems is another story because the culture actually needs to change in order for it to work. And unless they actually start caring about the poorest of the poor, giving us opportunities, giving us opportunities to bring our kids into work, our families, our friends, caring about us, nothing is going to change for them because they're just going to perpetuate that cycle of trying to make themselves look good when everybody knows that inside things are rotten. So those are things you can remember when you're applying for jobs, when you're putting it out there. Because if you're going to apply for those high paid jobs, you have to be prepared if you're going into that kind of culture to know. Because the people that have been in the banks have been in the banks a long time. Like for me, I left in 2007. And when I left, all the managers I worked for said, don't worry, don't worry, we'll open doors for you. We're going to England, we're going to these places, we'll, don't worry. None of them did anything for me, <laughs> not one of them. So I was a very good executive assistant to them. I went above and beyond what other people do. And that's why I got paid more. I got taken into the management meetings. My boss didn't have a department to give me to run. So that's why my position was eliminated and I had to move on. But nobody did anything to help me. So now I'm in my 50s, I have nothing to my name, I have not even a penny in my bank account. 
And it's not like I didn't try. I tried to reach out to them. I tried to ask them. They all moved around. They worked in Credit Suisse in Switzerland. They worked in England for some of the top banks. They worked here in Canada. Some of them went away. They came back. They did nothing to help me. So I guess they didn't like me and they didn't care about me enough to, to do that for me which is unfortunate because I really did do a good job for them. And I went out of my way to show that I cared about them, to help them, to do everything for them. And I ran that department like clockwork. Everything went smoothly for them. But anyway, that's how the cookie crumbles and you just have to put your faith in God. And also with my videos that I'm making, my music videos, my piano playing, my Elvis. Every time I upload something and I put it on YouTube, they put copyright. Even though I bought that music, even though I own that music, even though Graceland and places like that want us to sing Elvis's music, they want us to remember him. They don't want that music to die. They keep putting copyright on me. So now I've told Graceland and for all of my friends who are watching this, anybody following me, please support me. Don't let them stop me from playing my music and singing with Elvis, because I think Elvis would have liked me to sing his music and to play for him and play with him and sing with him. I don't think he would have wanted people to stop me the way YouTube is doing. And also that other music, there are thousands of people doing what I am doing. So why are they only coming after me? I must be pretty good, right? I must be, because how come they're only sitting waiting for me to put the music, and I'm not only playing Elvis's music, I'm playing a lot of different pop songs, so I must be pretty good. So if you hear of a job for me, singing in a band or playing in a band or, you know, in a church at events, let me know. I'm more than happy to do it. But I don't think what they're doing is right. Even the way that all those other stupid movies won uh, the, for the Academy Awards and Elvis movie didn't win. I didn't like the ending, but you know what? It was a pretty good movie. It was a good movie and it should have won. Those other movies were stupid. They really were. And some of them didn't even make sense. The Elvis movie was good. I just was very sad at the end because they, they portrayed his life as a tragedy. And in some sense it was, but in another sense he was very successful because nobody else did what he did. Nobody else broke the racial boundaries. Nobody else had a worldwide satellite concert. I don't know how many countries they showed it in. So I would have done the ending a little different. It was very sad for me. But that was also how the newspapers portrayed his death at the time. It was like, oh, tragic, lonely life ended. And really, it wasn't really that way. It just came as a shock to most of us. So I'm supporting this. I'm watching to see what President Trump is doing. I'm supporting what he's doing. I'm supporting Israel. I'm not supporting the Israeli Prime Minister being arrested and the officials and I'm watching what's happening because a lot of the things they put in our foods, in our toothpaste, all of that, it's poisons and I like what he's saying and I'm going to follow him. The same way I followed all the doctors and everybody that stood up against the vaccines, I took them because I wanted to keep my job and that was it. At the end of the day, I didn't have a choice. but. I'm following it to see what's going to happen and I'm praying for an end to the war and to the tribal wars in Africa as well and I'm praying that I get that good paying job because really I didn't come to Canada to land up like this going from contract to contract no job unemployed no benefits not not even a penny to my name that's not why I came here so I just wanted to leave you with that. And please pray that they stop targeting me. I want my music out there. I'm a good pianist. Yes, I make mistakes. 
I didn't get any certificates in Zimbabwe. But you know what? I can keep learning, I can keep improving, and I can keep playing. And my friends like it, and I know my friends like it. They've told me that. So just pray that they don't stop it, and they don't stop me from playing Elvis's music and singing with him, because it's pretty unfair. He's been dead a long time. Let us enjoy him.